Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, today I want to try a little magnetic loop experiment. Uh, a while back I was watching videos, back when I was really working hard on building and experimenting with them, and uh, you've probably all seen, I think it's VK3YE uh, down there in Australia, does a lot of magnetic loops, pedestrian portable and beach operations. <clears throat> and uh, in one of his videos he had a loop on a pole he was carrying, and he uh, raised it up and held it down near the ground while he was receiving a station and you could see on the S meter there was no change. And I thought, well that's interesting. Um, I always have my loop sitting on a pole and it'll be about three to four feet off the ground, I think four feet or so, a little over a meter. Um, and uh, I have a platform that I've played around with that I can plug it into that, that keeps it just a few inches off a table. And I thought, well let's put it down a few inches off the ground and see what the difference is. Now what I'm going to try to do is uh, I'm going to have both mounting methods set up and uh, I'm going to try to make a contact with a station that can hang around for a minute or two while I move the loop from the pole down to the ground and uh, see if uh, he can you know, still copy me the same or if my signal changes much. Um, I'm also going to look at the tuning of the loop. How is the tuning affected if I move it uh, from up on the pole down to the ground? Do I have to retune it very much? Does it change? So that's what we're going to do today. So I've got quite a bit of things to do to set up for that. Uh, a lot of stuff to get out and move outside, cameras and such. So we'll get it all set up here and uh, we'll go out and we'll, uh, we'll do this test and see what we can find out. Well, here's my setup outside. I've got my uh, table and my little FT817 5 watt all band, all mode radio. Over here, just past the radio, you can see the control box for the magnetic loop. I've got a video on that. It lets me tune the loop remotely, and that meter, it's not calibrated, but it shows me relative field strength at the loop. That's what I use to fine tune it. And then the cable runs along the ground here, and over here we have the loop. Now right now it's about five feet off the ground. This is my usual way of mounting it. I've got a stake pounded into the ground, a little coupling right there, and then the loop. Now this is the same magnetic loop that I built years ago. I've been using it for years. It works great. That's the tuning assembly there. Motorized with a geared down uh, 2 RPM or 1 RPM motor coupled to the uh, tuning capacitor with a plastic coupling I 3D printed. And you can't really see it, but inside of there, right over there, there's a little pickup wire and a couple of diodes that rectify the RF and send it back up the wire to that meter. And that's how I fine tune it. So we're gonna start with the loop five feet off the ground like this. And uh, we'll tune, do a reception test, probably of WWV, and uh, look at the S meter reading. And then I'll detach it from that coupling. And down here on the ground, I have a board with a hole drilled in it. And I'll stick the loop in that, and at that point, it'll be about a foot off the ground. So what I want to find out is, does the tuning of the loop change uh, when it's five feet up or when it's one foot off? And uh, also, does the signal strength change? We're going to do a reception tech with WWV. And then I'm going to try to find somebody on 40 meters or 20 meters that can stick with me for a, a test. And uh, we'll see how my signal to them varies as I move the loop down. Okay, there's WWV at 10 megahertz. I've got the loop tuned to 10 megahertz. And uh, we're at about an S9 to just over. Sitting pretty steady. Now I'm going to go move the loop down to the ground without changing any tuning settings or anything and we'll see if the signal strength changes. Okay, the loop is now down near the ground, and there is a slight change in signal strength. Hours, 36 minutes, coordinated universal time. 
Well, no, S9, S9 Plus. Yeah, I guess it's about the same. And the uh, tuning characteristics did not change at all. It, uh, it stayed tuned exactly where I had it tuned, so that's interesting. Um, uh, well, okay. So it doesn't look like it made a difference on reception. I'm going to go put the loop back up and uh, we're going to hop on 20 meters and see if we can make a contact. Okay, Sally, it's time for contact. Have a great day. Bye bye. Kilo Bravo 9, Radio Lima Whiskey, QRP. 55. Kilo Bravo 9, Radio Lima Whiskey, QRP. Here's a good example of the noise floor out here. Zero. The WebSDR that I used is one of many available on WebSDR.org. Uh, I chose the KFS WebSDR HF receiver on the Pacific Coast just south of San Francisco. So that's a little ways away from where I am and it was able to pick me up. Uh, these SDRs are really great for testing your receiving over uh, a distance. They're, they're all over the country, they're all over the world. You can see here what one of the screens looks like in your web browser while you're monitoring a station. and You can tune over any of the bands that they provided with their particular SDR. Okay, I tried to go with a different tact here. Um, I tried for a while to make a contact. I didn't have any luck. So what I've done is I've tuned into an SDR receiver on the internet that is uh, Northern California. And I'm uh, sitting on 7172, which doesn't have any activity, and I'm going to send a carrier. And uh, let's see, noise floor is uh, S4. I know you can't see that. You'll just have to trust me. Noise floor at that receiver is S4. And there's my signal, and it's about an S7. Yeah, solid S7. Back to a noise floor of S4. KB9RLW. Now I'm going to drop the loop down to the ground and we'll see if there's a change. Noise floor is still S4. Ah, yeah, I got weaker. Right down at the noise floor, S5. I think I got that turned exactly right. I'm going to turn it just slightly and see if that's an angle difference. All right, here we go. Still an S4 noise floor. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear that. You can hear my signal, but I'm right down at S5. All right, I'm going to go put the loop back on the pole and see if we come back up in signal strength. Okay, still an S4 noise floor. Yeah, about an S5, actually, so there's some some QSB going on. Still an S5. Uh, so I would guess that the previous transmission, when it was better, was probably a little bit better propagation. So that's inconclusive. And I'm an AM, so I'm putting out about 2.5 watts a carrier. Yeah, still right at the noise floor, S5. Okay, well, I'm going to put it back on the ground again, and if it doesn't change, it's still right at the noise floor at the S5, then 
that might be a good indication that there isn't a difference if it's on the ground or up. Okay, still an S4 noise floor. Yeah, I was barely in there. There it is. S5, S6. S4, S5, S6, KB9RLW. All right. Well, okay. That's something. Um, it seems that whether the loop's on the pole or down a foot from the ground, I'm getting about the same signal strength at that SDR. It didn't change. I think that very first transmission was just better propagation because the last two times that I moved it up and down, it was the same, about an S5 at that SDR. So I think that's a pretty good indicator that uh, uh, at least this much of an altitude change doesn't matter on a loop. Um, obviously, we'd want to have a better arrangement with a taller pole so we could put it up 20 or 30 feet and see if that makes a difference, but I don't have that capability out here. But I do know that if I uh, don't have a way of putting up the pole and I have to put it down near the ground, it's at least going to perform as well as it does when it's on the pole. So that's helpful to know. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.